Alright, alright, this is Mr. Baker. This video is about evaluating absolute value equations, expressions, inequalities. And this is our objective 14 for applied math, spring 2014. Here's my situation. Um, and this is a, a real life situation of an absolute value inequality. And probably my AP stats students for their exam in May. I have to balance between the rigor required to prepare them for the good scores on the exam, but to have it not be too hard to crush their spirits. Um, I don't want to make it too easy because then they'll all, get, they'll all get A's and feel like they're ready for the exam, but that A could mean nothing if the class was too easy and they could end up not getting the score they need on the exam and then they wouldn't get the college credit that they're trying to get for AP stats. So, let's suppose that I aim to have my students' class grades to be at about 75%, um, which for that class is still a little lower than I would hope, uh, but let's, just to choose a number, uh, but let's say I'll claim victory if they're within 5% either way. So the within 5% either way is the absolute value part, because it could be more than 5% or less than, which would be negative 5% from that score. Here's an inequality that I could write, an absolute value inequality that I could write to represent this situation. I want my kids to have 75%. So this 0.75 is just 75% as a decimal proportion, which is what you need to do usually when you have to do calculations with it. And we want whatever that comes out to be. Oh, I did that backwards. No. Did I? Let's think. We'll see when we get to the end, actually. Uh, I think that might need to be different. Um, but this 0.05 is the 5% that I refer to right here. Um, so that's from my target goal. This is the tolerance either way that I'll accept it. That's me showing that I want the difference to be... Yeah, okay. I want the difference to be... No, I have to do that backwards. Okay, let's do it. Right? This is just me figuring out what inequality. Um, so let me change this to, I want the 5% to be larger than or equal to the difference in the grade. Okay, you're not going to have to set these up, you're just going to have to use it. So the evaluating absolute value part would be just um, putting in that x and see if it worked. Putting in that x would be a kid's score. So let's use this now. Um, let's use the inequality to check if my students 73, 84, 69, and 70% were within my tolerance of 5%. So again, my inequality was 0.05 is greater than or equal to absolute value of x minus 0.75. We need to convert all these percents to decimals. So let's just do a couple. 0.05 is greater than or equal to absolute value of 0.73 minus 0.75, absolute value of that. 0.05 is greater than or equal to negative 0.02. Absolute value, it's important to remember that once you get to just a number inside of your absolute value bars, that's when you do that it's always positive thing. Absolute value is always positive once you evaluate it. Um, so this we would go to 0.05 is greater than or equal to positive 0.02. And is that true? Yes. And if you this example you could just look at um, if if my target was 75 um, this is an easy scenario where you can just look at it and know that oh the scores can be anywhere from 70 to 80 then that Mr. Baker's looking at. So I can just look at these and go, oh, well, okay, 73 is from 70 to 80, 84 isn't, 69 isn't, 70 is. So I can, this one, these I can kind of do in my head, um, but if this equation were a little more complicated, then I couldn't do that. So like many things we do in elementary algebra, um, it's more about showing work and proving work. Um, let me put another one up here, just to go through it. Um, 
Let's put in the 69, I guess. 0 0.05 is greater than 0 0.69 minus 0.75. We want the difference of 5% to be greater than or equal to the difference between the kid's score and the target goal. 0.69 minus 0.75 is 0 .0, negative 0.06. Absolute value of negative 0.06 is positive 0.06. Is that true? 0.05 is not greater than 0 .6, 0 0.06. So that kid's score would be not would not be within my target goal for his grade. Let's step this up just a tiny bit, um, just to show another equation. Um, what teachers do a lot of the time is, you know, we curve stuff. So if I curve all these by a factor of 10%, that's just going to change this equation slightly. So I'm just throwing this in here. Sorry, not equation, it's inequality. I'm just throwing this in here so we can have a different one to play with. We want that 5% to be greater than or equal to. Um, this is something you would do in Algebra 2, but to add 10% to a number, you multiply it by 1.5. 10 or 1.10, and we'll keep the x minus 0.75. And then let's look at our score of 69, which we saw just a second ago did not go into my tolerance with just the score. So let's put this in. Evaluating absolute value, you got to make sure that you put the value in the right spot and then you just have to make sure that you follow the order of operations. Absolute value bars work like parentheses really as far as order of operations. Say it again, absolute value bars work like work like parentheses as far as order of operations. Um, so if I had this I would need to do my parentheses first. So I'm going to do my absolute value bars first. 0 0.05 is greater than or equal to 1.10 times the absolute value of that, which is positive 0 0.06. Now I need to multiply. 0 0.05 is greater than or equal to 1.1 times 0 0.06 is 0 0.066. Is 0 0.05 greater than or equal to 0.066? Still a no. All right, so that's evaluating absolute value functions. Pick your number, plug into an equation, make sure you follow the order of operations. And again, absolute value bars, as far as order of operations, work like parentheses. Let me give you two to practice. This is what one of your problems might look like on your quiz on Friday. It'll say evaluate f of 6 and f of negative 4, which you know is just function notation. It's just telling you what to plug into the function. Here's the function f of x equals absolute value of x minus 4 plus 2 times the absolute value of x. I would say pause this now and write it down, try to work them out. You're going to, if when you do f of 6, you're going to put a 6 there, you're going to put a 6 there. Do the absolute values, keeping this like a set of parentheses first, so you would do 6 minus 4, and then do absolute value. This is like 2 times that, because those are working like parentheses and then you would go through and evaluate those. So pause that, work on that, and in just a second, I'm going to show the answers, um, but it's your job to, to show the work. Pause now. All right, so here's the answers. F of 6, when you plugged it in, was 14. 
and f of negative 4 was 16. Hope this was helpful. Goodbye.